Hey, hey, Leo, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your December 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Leo, I knew this card was going to show up for you. I'm feeling a strong presence of endings. Now, of course, December is the last month of 2024. And for a lot of you, you are more than happy to leave it behind. And I feel like you're liberating yourself. There are goodbyes this month. This can be the energy of growth, ascension, closure, life lessons. And you actually have the metamorphosis card, the messenger and the five of pentacles. So for some of you, what are you letting go of? You're letting go of poverty conscious mindset or a feeling of being left out in the cold. Some of you, this is a debt. You could very much be leaving behind debt. You could be leaving behind a very stressful situation that you've gone through, but it's taken all of the the tools in your spiritual tool belt, right? For you to trust, for you to gain a sense of clarity and for you to focus on the path ahead, right? There's a level of listening to your intuition. And I feel like that is a huge, a huge energy proceeding over your reading is trusting your intuition. And it's not that we don't receive intuitive nudges because we do every single day. But what we don't do is we don't trust them. Therefore, we don't act on them. And I feel like there's a level here of trust that is required as you release and exit out of an old contract because you're entering into something new, something quite profound. We're getting a lot of cards around transformation, the butterfly, this is sudden change. You know, it could even be that something shifts globally, economically, or worldwide in December because I am getting the same energy of the tower. I don't feel, I feel like I haven't seen the tower show up as much as I have for the month of December in all of the readings for quite some time. So this just could be also us releasing, right? Releasing that which holds us back. And as I say that, we have the card of change showing up here again. So transformation, change, shifting out of old dynamics, relationships that we've outgrown, jobs that no longer serve us, career paths that feel like we've hit a dead end, right? Here's the ship card, cutting ties and moving on. So I don't see the tower in your reading, but I do see the metamorphosis. Now you have two bonus major arcanas. You have the metamorphosis, which is card 24, and you have the messenger, which is card 22. So there is something about a message, incoming news, an announcement that is going to transform your life is what I'm getting here. This is going to transform your life. And it could be something you are announcing. You could be announcing this to someone or you are receiving an invitation you could be resigning, putting in a notice. Whatever this is, it's helping you. Look at, you have the prayer card and I'm getting Bon Jovi's living on a prayer. So for some of you, you've been living on a prayer for quite some time, but this is the month where change is the catalyst. There's no going back, right? There's no going back to six months earlier. There's no going back to six years earlier. Like this is it. You are at a very pivotal time in your life. And we're going to explore all areas here for you, Leo. We'll look at health. We'll look at your wealth, your career, finances, abundance. We'll look at love, relationships, family, romantic, as well as, you know, any other messages spirit has for you. So your first card coming out is letting go. And before I flip this over, spirit, let me know that this was the card. Your key theme is goodbyes. Goodbye, right? Goodbye. I'm getting, for some of you, it's goodbye for now. Okay, goodbye for now. Where you may come back. So for example, you could be leaving a place that you've lived at. Maybe you're leaving home. Or you are leaving the corporate world. 
And I, I feel like there is a sense of liberation, but you're still going to interact with this energy at some point or another, but it'll never be in the same context as it was prior. I hope that makes sense. So liberation, ascension, closure. This is life lessons and being being more in the flow, Leo, than in the resistance because the death card can be resistance to change. Now, the metamorphosis is like the higher frequency vibration of the death. And a lot of times the death can be scary change. It can be, you know, change that we don't necessarily love. It can be very, very uncomfortable. But the metamorphosis, this is the energy here of cosmic connection. It's renewal. It's rebirth. It goes above and beyond our everydays. And this is spiritual alignment. So the metamorphosis is happening in your life where you're spreading your wings towards feeling more vitality, feeling more like you are aligned with purpose, feeling like you are making a difference here in the world, feeling like you're fulfilling a mission here on earth. So this is really wonderful for you. Now you have clarity coming in. This is the ace of swords, if there was one, right? The ace of truth in this deck. And this is all about solutions, right? Finding solutions and finding answers, possibly through meditation. This could even be while you're in the shower. It could be while you are driving. It could be, you know, moving forward in a new direction. And I do feel like the path is made clear for you. Now you, you don't have, you know, the rain pelting down on you. It feels like, you know, you can lift the fog. You can see clearly now the rain is gone. And this is a moment of truth. A moment of reckoning is kind of what I'm feeling here for you, Leo. Spiritual toolbox is showing up. So whenever this card comes out, this is like the high priestess. So you have all of the tools necessary. And I feel like you're really listening here. You could be using some tools such as oracle or tarot, meditation, whatever spiritual practices that you have established, Leo, they have helped you. They have helped you without a doubt, right? This could even be journaling. This can be you meeting very helpful people by going to a support group or going to Reiki or, you know, going to a crystal shop or a metaphysical place nearby, whatever this is here that you have kind of made a habit, a daily habit, or I feel like this has transformed you. Some of you, it's yoga. For others of you, you could be tarot readers. You could read for yourself or for others, but I feel like this is a big part of who you are now is what I'm getting, who you are now. And bottom of the deck, Leo, we have belief system, we have divine guidance, and we have soul tribe. Look at that. Belief system is all about our self-talk, right? It's about our prayers, and you have the prayer card showing up, so this is beautiful. So I feel like that is going to hold significant information for you. So stay tuned to the end so we can read that prayer card. This is about reprogramming, taking a look at your limitations. What limits you? Where did your self-talk get you into trouble? Where did those beliefs that were lies or built on condition, uh, excuse me, conditioning get you into trouble? But now you have this higher power. You have this higher self that you turn to. For, for guidance, even though at times you may still doubt, right? You may still second guess, but I feel now you don't sit in that space for too long. You're trusting your journey. You're trusting your process. And we have angelic support here, answered prayers. So we have two cards that say the word prayer, and this is pretty, pretty beautiful. Three cards actually with the prayer. So soul tribe, some of you have been praying for a best friend, praying for help, praying for family, for a lover, for maybe even a companion animal, okay? Whomever or whatever soul tribe is for you, it's a shared journey and a sense of belonging. That's what's bubbling up from underneath the surface here. So for those of you that have been, been wanting to feel more solidified or to feel like you are meeting people who are pivotal on your path and they could be lifelong for some of you. I feel like that's coming in in 2025. 
You may want to check out your 2025 readings when they come out next month or in December. Now, starting off, you do have the Metamorphosis card. So we talked about cosmic connections, but this is embracing change. It is about boundless horizons, unlimited, vast potential. It is about you taking a look at where you shine, where you really rise up within your power. And I feel like this is you spreading your wings. And it's so beautiful because we see the, the blues and the greens and the purple showing up. So this is heart space. This is throat chakra. And this is also a connection with your vision, with your third eye. So it is spiritual enlightenment for you. But there is a message with this. Refusal to acknowledge the transformation is going to leave you feeling trapped. Refusal of acknowledging the transformation, meaning how far you have come, or it could be embracing the new changes that are showing up for you in your world. Because when we refuse to acknowledge, it keeps us trapped. But I see that you are letting go. You are letting go of something quite profound. And that's what this message is all about. Some of you are speaking up. You're sharing your voice. You're getting something off your chest. You're not dimming your light. And that's why this metamorphosis is the card of rise and shine, baby. You're waking up. You're putting on your, you know, your superpower cape. And you are becoming that hero. And I feel like when you leave the, the house or when you leave that bed in the morning, wherever it is that you go, you're going with a newfound sense of wonder and a newfound sense of clarity that maybe was lacking in the past. So the messenger shows up here as truth. This is about reveal. reveal. There's something being revealed to you. There could be an invitation on the table. There could be an offer. There could be important communication. For some of you, because I'm getting such a spiritual undertone in this reading, this could even be an intuitive hit that you get while you're driving, while you're in the shower, while you're in prayer or meditation. But this is big. It is significant. And I also see here what looks to be the Ace of Cups. It feels like this is a soul quenching renewal. This is an offer to renew yourself on a deep personal level. Okay, now the messenger also is about a gift or an opportunity to enhance your, your abundance, to enhance your love life, to enhance your skills by really taking a deep look at what's going on within. So there certainly could be some sort of physical invitation or contract coming your way for others of you. You're getting clear about what you need to release because you're acknowledging how far you've come. You're acknowledging the metamorphosis that's taken place within you. Leo, you're not the same Leo that you were, you know, five months ago, five years ago, five weeks ago even. And I feel like you're spreading your wings and you're saying, you're right, Mal. I have transformed. I've come a long way and I didn't get all this way just to get this far. Now is the time that I really take that leap of faith. Now is the time that I really rise into my power and I shine bright. Uninhibited by limitations, uninhibited by beliefs, by self-fulfilling prophecies or by a negative mindset or, you know, by poverty conscious mindset or whatever has left you feeling less than. Whatever has caused you to feel left out in the cold with this five of pentacles. Some of you, you, you came back from bankruptcy, right? Or you've come back from homelessness or, you know, family dynamics of abandonment or rejection. Maybe you've lost it all. Maybe some of you, uh, your health was at its lowest of low. But I do feel like you've come so far and you're going to receive some sort of results. Some of you, this is medical. You're going to see some sort of medical results that tell you, that you have the opportunity to, to make great stride, make great change by shifting something here. So there could be some news coming in around medical. For some of you, this is financial with the five of pence. But right next to this, 
we see someone being humbled. We see you having a very humbling experience. But I also feel like you're very humorous, you're very witty, and you're remembering that life is supposed to be fun at times. And when was the last time you had fun, right? Knight of Wands is showing up here. And some of you, you're, you're putting yourself on a course of excitement, a course of adventure, a course of learning. Some of you are traveling. You're stepping outside the box, whatever this is for you. And this is enthusiastic. This is the adventurer, the, the spontaneous risk taker, uh, the person who, you know, they may feel like a pumpkin head here. This could have even happened during autumn or fall time for you, Leo, where you had some spontaneous, maybe harebrained idea, but I actually feel like it's not a harebrained idea. It's an intuitive calling. And I feel like you have the potential to rise up and meet this call and shake its hand and say, I accept. I accept this call and I'm heading off on a new adventure. And I feel like it could be very, very lucrative for you. Lucrative in matters of the heart because I was seeing that Ace of Cups. Lucrative in emotional and spiritual fulfillment. This could be of service, maybe in your career, your finances, your money. But it does require you to, to live a little or to let loose in something, to let go of the five of pentacles, let go of something that has held you back. Now, what has held you back? Potentially authority, control, power, greed, narcissism, governing agencies. Okay, this could have even been or could be a relationship. The emperor is showing up in reverse here. So this tells me that you're letting go of something that holds you back. And for a lot of you, I feel like it is control right? Or a sense of maybe you were dealing with greedy people. Perhaps you were dealing with emperors who, you know, they had no right to rule the, the nest in a sense, right? I feel like they were not great at, at helping in ways that could have really brought and inspired great change. They may have thought it, but there's a difference between thinking it and actioning it. And I just feel like there wasn't a lot of positive action coming from whatever this was for you. Again, this could be some sort of authority, control, greed, narcissism. Emperor in reverse isn't fun. If, in fact, I feel like it's a, a power based on ego. And that's what you're letting go of. Power based on ego. This power that I see over here is based on spiritual awareness and intuitive frequencies that feel a lot more aligned. And when we manifest from a place of heart, it's more fulfilling and it's longer lasting, right? When we manifest from a place of control or greed or fear or jealousy or rage or whatever, whatever it is, <coughs> excuse me. It causes us to derail. It causes us to lose sight at times of what really makes us happy. How we, how we get there though, it feels like there's another path opening up and you have the eight of wands. And even though the eight of wands is showing up here in reverse, to me, this says you're realigning your energy so you can get moving again. You're realigning your energies because some of you are traveling, you're relocating, you're getting ready to speak up. Right. And as soon as I picked up this card, I had a little bit of a throat, you know, a throat thing go on. So it feels like you're clearing the air, you're clearing your throat, you're preparing, you're getting ready for something. But by the end of the month or within the next eight weeks, I definitely feel like there's going to be progress. There's going to be communication and travel and possibly relocating, relocating of jobs, of careers, of homes. This could be getting a relationship back on track where it feels like it's moving forward instead of feeling like it's a train wreck. There is massive change coming in, Leo. And I feel like it's going to require you dipping into that spiritual toolbox that you have to give you that sense of clarity on how to realign your energies and how to fully let go so you can embrace the metamorphosis ahead. So let's look at health here. What do we see for health? For those of you who have dealt with authority that's caused a lot of stress, okay, I am getting 
anxiety, stress relief. It may have caused headaches. Okay, it's it could have even caused something with the eyes. I'm getting like blurred vision, maybe eye floaties, possibly something with the ears. Some of you, there's aging factors involved. Maybe it's just feeling, you know, feeling tired, feeling more tired, or it could be that you're more sore, right? I feel like ageism is showing up with the emperor. Okay. Uh, some of you had a replacement, like a hip replacement, or um, there's work done, surgery done on a knee. I mean, this could be any area of the body, but the Five of Pentacles is Humpty Dumpty being put back together again. So it almost feels like you were broken, okay? A part of you felt very, very much broken, Leo, but I feel like over time, you've gradually been putting those pieces back together again or finding clarity on, you know, which nutrients, which supplements, or what, you know, what path is going to bring you the most healing, okay? Through time, through patience, through effort, and through dedication. But I feel like some of you... Yeah, it just feels like you were broken. You could have even had depression, okay? Sometimes even with this five of pentacles, it can be depression. Some of you may not have had the money to take care of an issue. And I'm getting teeth as well. Teeth could be significant here. Some of you had like an ab abscess tooth or maybe you had a filling or a cavity. But I feel like you're realigning. You're getting back on track. And there could be some financial support or uh, financial turnover that's happening here with the invitation what else do we have for health hmm. it feels like if you some of you were on a medication or you were on something that was actually doing more harm than good so of course take that as it resonates see the disclaimer in the description box below you could be releasing that or letting it go you're like wait a second this isn't helping me out I'm not myself. I feel foggy. I feel diluted in some way. And I feel like you you recognize that now. All right. Throat. The throat keeps coming in and out. So maybe some of you it's thyroid, which if you follow medical medium, you know, the Epstein-Barr virus is uh, the thi known as a thyroid virus. It has more to do with that viral than it does uh, the actual um, thyroid. I mean, the thyroid is is malfunctioning possibly because of that virus. So that may be something to look into. All right, let's look at wealth, career, money matters. You have a lot that came through here. You actually have three extra cards than most. And these look like really powerful cards. You have two cards that represent change. You have the actual change card here, Leo. It says, there's a change for the better coming your way. Embrace it. Yeah, like I said, this is the higher version of the death, right? This is the version that we really want to be a part of. This is us embracing change, not, not so much running away from it or trying to, you know, this is almost like a, a welcoming change where sometimes the death card can be an unwelcome change or an uncomfortable change. I feel like this is, this is for the better. Just because you don't see any movement doesn't mean that nothing is happening. Sometimes to see the change, you must be the change. All right. Next, we have the butterfly. This can be sudden. Pay attention to your spending. Sometimes around the holiday time, people can go crazy. And then January, trying to reel it all back in again. So be mindful of your spending. Stay on a budget. It's not going to be worth going into debt for with the five of pentacles because gifts do not represent happiness, right? Yes, the act of gift giving, it can be a wonderful thing, but remember the, the reason behind the holiday season, okay? Spending time, spending moments, sharing laughs, sharing time, that's where it truly values. You don't have to go into debt. And I feel like you can make wonderful homemade gifts for some of you for others of you i feel like i feel like you could also be setting a val very valuable lesson as a parent potentially by not just giving in to to the whims or to 
to big high ticketed or high priced items. There's something here with that emperor in reverse of being in control. I also see for some of you that may struggle with uh, another individual in your life. Maybe it's a, a parent or an in-law or it could be a spouse or maybe a boss. There's something here about finding balance when it comes to finances here or trying to find some sort of negotiations. Now this is making work more fun. Hello, pumpkin head, right? This is about not taking life so seriously, having fun with this. You could be an artist. This could be short term, okay? This could be movement. And I do see with your outcome, the eight of wands, something is gonna get moving again. But I feel like it's because you are shifting your energies and you're letting go of something that may have been stuck or stagnant or holding you back. We do see a coming together, which is beautiful. When the ring shows up, this is financial commitments. It's long-term investment. So when it comes to maybe that Christmas present or it comes to you know, gifting others, perhaps you are looking at long-term gifts, things that can really bring value, not something that can be broke or thrown away, right? And I feel like you're thinking of a future. There's something here about long-term. Now, there's also a partnership coming in here. If you're not in this partnership already, expect an invitation or expect an offer, Leo, because this is a fulfilling career choice or it'd be a fulfilling investment for you that wouldn't just satisfy you perhaps now, but you may see it more satisfying for you long term. So the rings coming together. Someone may be a Lord of the Rings fan. Okay, I'm getting Lord of the Rings. And I'm also hearing the name Paul or Polly. We have easy does it. Easy does it. For some of you that have been overdoing it, this is a month to ask for help if you need to delegate, slow down. Slow and steady wins the race because we all know that there can be a hectic energy of the holiday season. And if you don't slow down, that train track could, could derail and you don't want that to happen, right? It could be going so fast that you're not paying attention and you bump right into something, you know, you, you stub your toe. That would be minor on a, a major effect or event. You know, we're not paying attention. We are trying to talk on the phone and yelling at the kids in the back seat, and we're not seeing what's in front of us and we have a fender bender, right? So pay attention, be present in spite of chaos, okay? So just be mindful because you don't want to move forward in this eight of wands in reverse. Now, of course, we have Mercury in retrograde for a big chunk of the month, but I feel like this is realigning, slowing things down a bit, giving yourself a little bit of extra caution time. You got this. You got this, Leo. It says, this is not a good time to rush. Pay attention to details. Some of you pay attention to your receipts because you could get double charged. Pay attention to bills because your credit card could be charged twice. I see some malfunctioning going on with either double charging and you may overlook it if you're not paying attention or you're in a rush, okay? Careful not to get involved with any get rich quick schemes. Yeah, because I do see some fast moving energy. I feel like, and we, we already talked about this, what is worth it? What is long term? It's going to be manifesting from a place of, you know, place of heart, part of your divine path. And when we're manifesting due to fear or instant gratification, it's going to be short term. It's going to backfire. So be mindful of that. Now, lastly here, you have the writer and you have the coins, which I love the coins as your outcome. It says words are magic. Use them to manifest more abundance. Now, words are spells. That's why they call it spelling, right? We've been, I've been saying that for a while because words and communication have been showing up, especially with this messenger card. So this is being able to be able to have that power. Your words have power to influence, right? So share your gift with the world. Share your communication skills. Share your publications. Share your book. You know, maybe even share a part of your journal with a therapist or with a friend. Some of you, this is writing in a gratitude list, or it could be just writing things down. You could be keeping a, you know, keeping a list, checking it twice. <laughs> and I feel like 
You could be a blogger, a content writer, a book writer, or in any other creative career. Yeah, you're reevaluating things. I feel like you're realigning, and the best way for you to do that, Leo, is to put it down on paper. So if you have some new ideas, write it down. If you have some suggestions, write it down. I also get a family. There's a family here that may be doing something where they write things down and maybe they put it in a box and then unwrap it on Christmas. Okay, maybe it's compliments. This is a, actually a really great idea. It feels like it's a shoe box. You know, like when you, you get married and you have a card or an envelope box, it feels like someone is sticking some prompts or messages into this box and I feel like someone gets to open them and it feels like it's a, a beautiful surprise. It feels like uh, I feel good about what I'm reading, what I'm looking at. Now, of course, that could be symbolic for some good news coming your way. It could be something unexpected that you find out. Someone may tell you how they truly feel, okay? Someone could disclose to you through text, okay? Or you could be getting a card or something of that nature in the mail, Christmas card. And lastly, you have the coins. This is money coming in. So I do see wealth here and good investment. Some of you, sales and finances, you could be getting a raise. It feels like there's a, a lucky a lucky break happening here for you financially. And it's about time because the five of pentacles is the opposite of that. It's like I'm struggling to make ends meet. I'm struggling to put you know presents under the table or food in the refrigerator or gas in my gas tank, right? It can be a struggle. And I feel like you're, you're realigning the energies. You're getting off that struggle bus if you have been struggling financially or within your career because this invitation, this clarity, this letting go is metamorphosizing your life in a very abundant way. All right. Let's look at love. Let's look at love, relationships, family, children, parents, lovers, spouse. We do have the runner. There is a fear here of intimacy for some of you. There's a fear of getting close to others. You may keep others at an arm's length because you've been hurt. It's a defense mechanism. You may have ran away or someone may have ran away from you when things got intense, right? They may have let, let go of you. And I feel like there was a lot of turmoil. There was a lot of fleeing. But perhaps there's a metamorphosis taking place within this runner-chaser dynamic where you're saying, wait a second, what are we doing here? Are we doing it or are we not? Because there could be an opportunity to, to bring something together because you have the hammer card. So even if you are in a relationship currently or you know, you're know you in some sort of union, I feel like there could be an opportunity to either sabotage, which that is a choice. We can sabotage it if we stay in this runner energy or we can rebuild it. We can come together if both parties are persistent and both parties want to work on it. It's not going to work if it's one-sided. And for some of you, you're dealing with a bullheaded emperor in reverse. And that's going to be difficult. If that is you, I mean, that could be a father, that could be, you know, a lover, that could be a boss, whoever you're dealing with here, if they are bullheaded, controlling, or very stuck in their ways, <clears throat> excuse me, it can be difficult to, to rebuild, but I feel like there is a conversation needed or required in order to work through something, in order to realign the energies and get back on track here with that eight of wands. Some of you are going to choose to jump ship. Some of you have chose to let go of a union because someone was just running. Someone was running. Someone was chasing. It felt very one-sided. It was very controlling, very demanding. And I feel like you have or will cut ties. You've moved on here. This is about receiving what you've needed. And I feel like you've progressed. You've really ascended and grown on your spiritual path, especially in matters of the heart. And I feel like you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You've arrived. It's like your ship's coming in, the three of wands. So I feel like this is actually going to allow you to move forward. For those of you that are single, you could be getting back on that train. <laughs> and that's what we see here with the, the eight of wands. Maybe it's taken you a long time because... 
you derailed with a an emperor, maybe someone you were married to, or some of you struggled with some father wounds, okay, or divine masculine. There's been something around that divine masculine in reverse that really has done its number. It's really affected you in some way, but it was it's part of your growth. It's part of your evolution. And I feel like you're realigning to get back on that eight of, of wands, which is the looking glass way railway or the looking glass railway. And you could be saying, Mel, I'm ready. I'm ready to get back out there, right? I'm ready to meet someone new. This could be setting a date. Some of you, there could actually be a special date coming in, maybe an anniversary. You could be dating online. You could have met someone online and I feel like there is going to be a conversation or some sort of important communication that does show up for you and this is going to be pivotal. This is going to be life changing and I feel like you're going to have clarity after this conversation on what you need to do to get yourself to get your life back on track in areas of the heart or in any area for that matter. All right, Leo. Is there forgiveness necessary? Who are you ready to forgive? You are not what happened to you. You are who you choose to become. That's a quote by Carl Jung. Is it time to let go, forgive, and move onward? Is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom, and insight. Look at it from their shoes. Notice how you grew and what you learned. Who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants? Yeah, we talked about that. That can be that metamorphosis saying don't resist the changes afoot, right? This is about not, don't refuse to acknowledge how far you've come and how far maybe you've come with another individual. Write a forgiveness letter. Then practice the Ho'opano Ano Pano prayer. I don't know if I had too many panos in there, but you get my drift. It's the Hawaiian prayer. While thinking of the person that you're ready to forgive. And the prayer is this. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. Remember, Leo, when you heal, the world heals. And it is our responsibility to heal. Right? No matter what was done to us. Like Carl Jung says, it is not what happened to you, but it's who you choose to become because of what you've gone through. You don't have to be the victim. You don't have to be the person that is stuck, right? You can choose to become something new. You can rise from the ashes. You can spread your wings no matter what. And that's important. What do you resist feeling right now? Yeah, I'm just going to look. I don't see any cups in your reading. However, I did notice the heart here on the invitation. So it almost feels like there is a cup of love being offered here. But are you refusing to open yourself up? We have to feel it to heal it. In order to let go of pain, we first have to honor its existence. Emotions are like waves. Some are soft. Some are fierce, some are layered, and some will sweep you off your feet. When we allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then release what no longer serves us. Yeah, then we can fully let go, Leo. Allow yourself to feel this wave. Let it move through you no matter how long it lasts. Then release it back into the ocean. Feel it, heal it, enjoy the sweet freedom within your soul. This could be a final wave of energy that ushers in in December of 2024 where you're feeling it big time, right? You're feeling it big time, but instead of suppressing it, instead of shoving it back down saying, don't get out, right? Don't get out. We can't let our emotions show. We, we're we're going to deal with it. Now is not the right time or the right place, but maybe it is. Maybe it is time for you to feel it. Like it says, feel it because then you can really heal it and enjoy letting it go. So just be mindful that there could be some feelings that arise within you, embrace them. And last but not least, we have the prayer. And I keep getting that song, living on a prayer, keep showing up over and over. And I feel like that's not the first time that has come up for you. 
Okay, Leo, I feel like we've definitely had that energy or maybe that song coming in. So we have the prayer. I'm just finding the page here. Living on a prayer. All right. Just going to find it here. One second, Leo. All right. The prayer has to do with the worship, the reverence, the homage. What is prayer? When are we in a state of prayer and when are we not? To whom or what do we pray? Archetypally, the practice of prayer has been with us since the dawn of time as a remedy for the omnipresent self-centered thinking that spins us towards illusion. Prayer leads us beyond our ego as we move from our little story to the big one. Some say we are in a state of prayer anytime we are not the center of our own thoughts. Others say prayer is a natural result of gratitude. Perhaps it is simply surrender or service. Whatever prayer is for you, this card reminds us of its importance. Get quiet, low, humble, and soft. Bow and touch the ground as your heart lifts to the sky. Though it may be uncomfortable, it is time. Nothing else will do. Experiment with the act of bowing down. Nearly all spiritual traditions make a practice of prostration. Okay, I'm assuming that means bowing down of some sort. Every song, kiss, breath, word can become a prayer. It is a feeling, not an action. Consider the ancient mantra, Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. That means I bow to the creative consciousness within. I bow to the teacher within. Kind of gives me that namaste vibe, right? Uh, and I feel like you are, you are moving beyond, as it states here, you're moving beyond that ego of the center of our thoughts. And I feel like you are surrendering in some way. And that's why you have the letting go here for you, Leo. It says, when this is showing up in the light aspect, it's offering to be of service and asking for guidance. And we actually have guidance, I believe, showing up. I thought I seen that here for you. Guidance or clear path and direction. Yeah, so this is prayers. We have prayer showing up three different times. And so you are receiving answers. You are being of service and you're seeing evidence and you're seeing proof of those prayers being answered. When it's in the dark, it's expecting results, right? Expectations. It can also be self, uh, it says aggrandizement. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. Self aggrandizement. Maybe it's something that has to do with the ego or the emperor in reverse is what spirit is showing me. Yeah, the emperor in reverse. That's the dark aspect. If you want to go deeper, ask. Ask to be of service. Like, what do I need to do here? I surrender. Just put me on your path, spirit, because I know that this isn't a one-man band, right? It never was meant to be a one-woman band, a one-man band. Leo, I feel like there is a bowing down here. There is a surrender. There is a service that you have. And the prayer showing up three times in your reading is reminding you of that importance. So again, it says, get humble, get soft, get low, get quiet. And that is why you have the clarity and the spiritual toolbox showing up and your belief system. Because this is about you surrendering. It's time. Nothing else will do. So that is what I have for you, Leo. Transformative month. But I see that you're opening up your heart, right? And you could be on the receiving end or the delivering end of a message so pay attention. There's an invitation coming your way. This invitation is going to help you let go. The invitation is going to help you move forward on a, a much clearer path where it feels like instead of out of control, right? Instead of a train, you know, going a thousand miles per hour and not knowing really what's ahead, this puts you back in the driver's seat of your life. And that's what I see shifting. You're being put back in the driver's seat of your own life. Thank you so much, Leo. I hope this was helpful. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. 
Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. And again, thank you for tuning in. Lots of love.